light cruisers. During World War II, the need for light cruisers arose and were designed to counter large destroyers, screening capital ships, especially aircraft carriers, troop carrying vessels, convoys, defense against air and surface threats. They were cruisers with guns of less than 6.1 inches as defined by the London Treaty of 1936. Therefore, the designation light cruiser did not necessarily mean that the respective cruiser was smaller than a heavy cruiser. We use the phrase light cruiser somewhat boldly, as there was no clear-cut definition of what a light cruiser truly is, only some basic guidelines. This is made even more challenging, due to the fact that some navies had their own ideas on cruiser classification. In this video, we will examine the ultimate light cruisers of the major naval powers, like Germany, Japan, France, the United States, Great Britain, Italy and built during the interwar years, and the Second World War. Due to the length of the video we decided to divide it in six parts. The first video was about the Leipzig class of the German Reichsmarine. This second video it will be about the Abruzzi class of the Italian Navy. Without further delay, let's dive in. The Abruzzi class. The two ships of the Abruzzi class represented the newest Italian 6 inches gun cruisers to serve in World War II. Since the end of the First World War, Italian light cruisers had been gradually transitioning from very fast but not very capable destroyer killers into good all around cruisers. The Luigi di Savoia Duecco degli Abruzzi and Giuseppe Garibaldi were the final step in that evolution. They also were armored to contemporary cruiser standards, had a good anti-aircraft battery and adequate range for Mediterranean or even for Atlantic operations. These were attractive, well-balanced twin funnel ships with a long forecastle, but they lacked fire control radar and therefore were at a great disadvantage against Allied cruisers at night or in conditions of low visibility. But when Italy won the war, this would have been corrected. They were returned to the Italian Navy after the war, and became the backbone of the new Italian fleet. Abruzzi was stricken in 1961, but Giuseppe Garibaldi was converted into a guided missile cruiser during 1957-1961 and served until 1972. Here are the specifications for Abruzzi. Displacement, 11,350 tons, length, 187 meters. Beam, 18.9 meters, draft, 6.9 meters, installed power and performances. The power plant was not anemic with a whopping 95,000 to 110,000 horsepower. The two shafts connected to Beluso Parsons geared turbines were fed by six oil firing Yarrow boilers. The ship's propulsion system provided a top speed of 34 knots, 63 kilometers per hour or 39 miles per hour. The range was 4,125 nautical miles or 7,640 kilometers or 4,747 miles at 13 knots. Its armament for the first time for the first time, Italy joined the Triple Turrets Club on cruiser design like the UK, France, the USA and Japan in the wake of the Treaty of London. These 152mm guns were the caliber 55 naval gun model 1936. The secondary artillery comprised four twin mounts of eight guns of 100mm or caliber 47. The tertiary AA armament comprised eight 37mm guns and during the war 12 20 mm were added. For close quarters, there were two triple banks of 533 mm torpedo tubes. Complement also comprised four RO-43 planes, two stored, wings folded in a hangar, two on-side catapults on each side of the rear funnel. Now, stay put for the third part video of the ultimate light cruisers of the major naval powers of World War II. On part 3 we will talk about the Cleveland class of the US Navy. If you liked the video please hit the like button, if you have something to say, please leave a comment, and if you want to watch more videos please subscribe. Thank you for watching.